If I scale this model, it jumps to another dimension. Yeah, we all been there. This tiny problem ruin your flow and no one tells you how to fix them. So in this video, I'm giving you seven hot surface trick that took me years to figure out. So you don't waste the same time. This is part two. Let's level up your Blender game right now. Trick number one, fix your origin point. This is one of the most common issue in Blender. You try to scale or rotate and your object start move somewhere else. Like it has a mind of its own. But this isn't a bug. It's your origin point messing with you. The origin point is the small white dot. It controls where your object scales or rotate from. Here's the catch. In object mode, when you move the mesh, the origin point moves with it. But in edit mode, the origin point stays locked. It doesn't move. So, if you move something in edit mode and try to scale it, Blender still use the old origin point. And there he is. Weird movement. How to fix it? You can use machine tool to reset the origin point, but here's how I do it manually. Select the object, right click, set origin, and origin to center of mass surface. That's it. Now your object can scale and rotate naturally. Next time it flies off screen, you know exactly why. Trick number two. Proportional editing and how it can save your cables. This is a mistake I used to make all the time. Let's say I'm creating a cable. I start with a plane, merge at center, extrude the shape, press Ctrl plus Shift plus V to build the lines, then convert it into a curve and increase the density. Looks fine, right? But later I want to bend the cable or fix some overlaps and suddenly everything looks wrong. Dragging a vertex only deforms the mesh. It doesn't bend, it breaks the flow. And yeah, I used to reset the whole thing just to fix it. But you don't have to. Here's what to do. Select any vertex from the area you want to bend. Press O to enable proportional editing. Press G to move the vertex. Now, you'll see a soft circle of influence. Use your mouse wheel to adjust the size of the circle. Bigger circle equals to smoother, wider bend. Smaller equals to local tweak. Now, here's the key part. The more geometry your mesh has, the better the bend will look. It's just like an image. The more pixel it has, the sharper the quality. Same with mesh. More vertex equal to smoother, more natural curve. Super useful for fixing cables, wires, or even adjusting mechanical parts with more control. Trick number three. Master your merge tool, especially after Boolean. If you care about clean geometry, and trust me, you should, then Merging vertices properly is something you can't skip. Every time you run a boolean on a curved or complex surface, you often get a overlap, word, weird shading or pinching. That's where the merge tool comes in. Blender gives you multiple merge options. And here's what each one does. First, merge at center. Select two or more vertices, press M, choose center. This merge them all at the average middle point. Wait for symmetrical cleanup. Two, merge at cursor. Place your 3D cursor exactly where you want. Select vertices, M, add cursor. Why use this? Total control. You can snap the cursor anywhere, then force your geometry to merge right at the spot. 3. Merge at first, merge at last. At first. The first vertex you select is the merge target. At last. The last selected vertices becomes the target. Simple but Powerful when you want precision. 4. Collapse. Honestly, I rarely use it. It collapses an entire edges or faces into one point. Useful sometimes, but not for me. Trick number 4. Flopping faces. And yeah, they can mess up everything. You ever bevel a face and it just go weird? Or maybe you drop a material and it looks blank like it didn't even apply. That's not a bug. That's a flipped faces. Your geometry is literally inside out. How to catch it? Click the little arrow near the top right. That's your overlay. Now turn on face orientation. If you see any red faces, that's a problem. Those faces are flipped inwards and Blender hates that. How to fix it? Select the red parts, press Shift plus N, Blender recalculates the normals. You get flipped faces a lot if you're doing booleans or if you duplicate and mirror stuff, so, so keep this trick in your back pocket it will save your life more than you think. Trick number 5. Mirror details without the modifier. Look, 
I used to do this long way. Delete the F portion of the model and add a mirror modifier, fiddle with the axis. Yeah, it works. But let's be honest, it's kinda annoying. Then I discovered the symmetrized tool and bro, life got easier. Here's how it works. Go into edit mode, select your mesh, press A to highlight everything, go up to the mesh menu, then click on symmetrize. Now you need to choose your axis, left to right, right to left, front to back, whatever fits your model. One click, mirror done. No modifier stack, no deleting faces, no fuss. It's fast, clean and does exactly what you expect. And yeah, if you're using machine tool, the mirror functions even smoother. Just press a hotkey and boom, symmetrize lock done. Trick number 6, this one is my favorite. Add killer decals without paying for decal machine. Okay, look, I'm not saying this method is better than decal machine. Let's be real, decal machine is insane. But if you're broke or just starting out, this trick can still give you some clean, dope looking labels and decals for free. Here's how you do it. First, download the image to decal that on. It's free on Gumroad or you can just click the link in the description. Install it in Blender like any normal add-on. Now go hunt high quality PNG images. Think sci-fi labels, warning sign, company logos, whatever fits your style. In Blender, hit Shift plus A, image and choose image as decal. Select your PNG file and boom, it's in. That's it. Instant decal, no need to model it or do some crazy shader node magic. One small catch. Make sure you're using clean, high-resolution PNG with transparency. Blur logo equals to trash result. So, take your time, find high-quality images. Trick number 7. Kill the junk geometry and clean up your model instantly. Hot surface modeling gets messy fast, so you're running booleans, mirror stuff, extrusion, and all good stuff. But behind the scene, Blender stacks up useless vertices, stray edges, and leftover places like trash in the corner. You could manually clean it up, but bro, that's nightmare. Takes forever. Here's the fix. If you're using machine tool, I know I just keep mentioning the machine tool, but anyway. There is a shortcut to clean geometry fast, but even if you're not using any add-ons, Blender has a built-in tool most people overlook. Here's how. Select a mesh, go to the top menu, mesh, clean up and choose delete loose. Voila. And that's how easy is it. Blender will wipe out all the unconnected vertices, loose edges and extra geometry. So that's pretty much it. I hope these 7 tips blew your mind. Because each one comes from my 3 years of grinding in Blender. Fixing and applying just ease can instantly level up you above the average artist. That's all I wanted to share today. But now it's your turn. Are you struggling with detailing, rendering, workflow? Drop your biggest pain in the comments. Whatever comments get the most like, I'll turn it into a full deep dive guide. Thanks for watching and if you found even one tip helpful, smash that like button. Subscribe for more and I'll catch you in the next tutorial. I'm out.